Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Andy Godoy Show. I'm your host, Andy Godoy, and I am back again with another one of these podcast YouTube shows that I do. So I'm going to quickly fade down that music and press stop. Boom. So there we go. So anyway, in today's episode then, I'm going to be reviewing and talking about this amazing new magazine, and this is issue two of Amiga Addict. So this is my first uh, impression and review of it. Um, I should have just really looked through it properly first, but I'm going to delve deeply into it and I tell you, you know, all about it and if you should get yourself one. So first things first then, the reason why I bought this is because, okay, well, there's two reasons. I know it's done by a great team who are big time Amiga fans, but I never owned an Amiga. So I thought, mm, maybe not for me. But then I found out that my friend Paul Monaghan from Maximum Power Up actually contributed to this magazine. And it was always Paul's dream, you know, as a kid, you know, he wanted to write for one of the magazines. And, you know, he's done amazing podcasts, Maximum Power Up, loads of sort of writers from all the older sort of like uh, gaming magazines. And now he's finally achieved that. And he's got a piece that he's written in this magazine. And, um, just had a quick flick through it, and from what I found out as well, that there's a few of my other friends from other podcasts that I've worked on before that have contributed to this as well. So what I'm going to do now then, guys, I'm going to quickly um, do a quick edit and uh, try and change the camera angle, and then I'm going to review this and give you my honest impression of this magazine. Right, so here we are with the uh, second issue of Amiga Addicts. So let's have a little look. And the first thing I want to talk about, actually, is the quality of the cover and the paper itself feels really, really good quality. You know, you could really compare it to a lot of the stuff that you would actually get at the news agent. So let's have a little look at this then. So let me just move the magazine, the camera here. So uh, who we got there? We got Jonah. We got Ravi. Ravi's from uh, the Retro Owl podcast. Definitely recommend everyone check it out. We got James. We got Ian. And we've got Hannah. So they've got a little bit about uh, saying meet the addicts there. And um, look at that. Some sort of like a new old stock there. Some ads there. Tells a little bit about what you've got down there. Now, I'm not going to go through everything in this magazine because I do suggest that you get it yourself. It needs to be done. So you've got some Amiga news over here. And look at that. So Amiga addicts. Amiga addicts in the wild. So all these people there with their magazines. Uh, and again, proudly showing off because it's a great magazine. So I'm going to quickly flick through the pages and I will tell you uh, the reason why I was looking through this. I mean, so far, everything looks absolutely amazing. The amount of quality, the information and everything on that is just absolutely stunning. Right. So here I see a familiar face. So if I move this up here a little bit. Uh, here we go. Who's this handsome guy there? Paul Driscoll uh, from RGDS, uh, Memories of an Amiga Gamer. So again, Paul is like a big time Amiga fan. So it's great that he's actually done some work like this on this magazine. I'm sure it was such an honor for him to do. And I'm sure the guys who created this magazine, guys and girls, they were really happy to get someone like Paul doing this because, you know, he's a fountain of knowledge, uh, Paul is. So there's a few more little bits and bobs. DMA Design, Ravi uh, did that bit there. Uh, let's have a, a, another little look. So there's so much info. Now, so this is the bit that I really wanted to tell you about. So let me just pick it up without destroying my um, little display there. The Amiga Magazine and I. So who do we have there? It is Mr. Paul Monaghan. So let me just see what it says. It says, my name is Paul Monaghan and I'm... A games magazine addict. Phew, that feels good to get off my chest. And all honesty, though, anyone that knows me or listens to my output from Maximum Power Up podcast would already know this about me. Now, Paul is such an enthusiastic um, retro gamer. Oh, he's just enthusiastic about anything and everything. And it's such a great thing to see Paul uh, writing in a magazine. And the reason why I'm so happy about this is because this has been one of Paul's dreams 
to write for a magazine. And I know with Maximum Power Up, you know, he's interviewed a lot of people who used to write for the retro gaming magazines. But in this, Paul has written this. And it, he must be ecstatic. I mean, as a kid growing up, I had a dream that I would write for a magazine. And unfortunately, I'm dyslexic. So I really, um, I can't write, which is why I got into podcasts. And um, yeah, I want to just talk about how amazing this is, you know, like, oh, there's someone else I recognize there going back a little bit. Steve Erickson. Oh, my old podcast, Retro Asylum. So definitely check out uh, Retro Asylum as well. Great guys. Podcast is going super strong. So three pod, well, four podcasts with um, Retro Hour as well. RGDS, Retro Asylum. And yeah, check it out. So anyway, I'm going to quickly flick through the pages on this. Um, it is stunning. What a magazine. Like I said, really surprised with the quality of the paper on this. Uh, I like the way it's designed. Everything is clear. You can see everything. I love the way it's scored here. Um, just some great games. And um, I came into this magazine thinking, I'm only buying it because some of my friends are actually featured in it by writing the stuff. But I'll tell you what, I am so super impressed with this. It is absolutely amazing. So I, I'm i super happy with that. So who have we got there? Matt Wilshire, another guy from Retro Asylum. It's like, geez, everyone from Retro Asylum is on there. Where's Dean? Right. Uh, so anyway, um, I'm super happy with this copy of uh, Amiga Addicts. I'm going to quickly uh, change the camera angle and I'll give you my final thoughts on the magazine itself. Right, so I'm back again, and you know what? I've got to just tell you from the get-go, this magazine is fantastic. Now, I've talked to a little bit about it when I was going through with it. First things first, then. Now, the quality of the magazine, it is really, really nice. It's solid. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart. It's nicely done. The graphic design in it, it's all nicely done. It's got everything in it, so, you know. There's enough you know, information about different games, you know, people's point of view and things like that. And I honestly, I love it. I, I honestly didn't think it was going to be this good, you know, and that's not a knock on anyone that's worked on this. I, I just, you know, normally when you get fanzines and stuff like that, the quality uh, isn't as good as like what you normally get in, say, a news agent. But this is up there with it, you know. It is a fantastic magazine. Um, I was only going to get issue two which is this one because i found out my friends were going to be writing on it and i just thought yeah i'd like to see you know what what is written and you know it's just support him and stuff like that but after sort of like going through the magazine i tell you what i'm sold i think this is absolutely fantastic if you're an amiga fan definitely get amiga addicts i'm going to be getting all the other ones now hopefully i can get issue one uh, i will be getting you know all the other ones as well so in addition to collecting retro gamer i will also be getting this magazine this gate this magazine is a five out of five and it's a big thing for me because i'm not really an amiga fan but what i've seen in this is just the you know the work that's got into it by all these people that love their Amiga and it's so well put together so yeah um definitely check out this magazine big shout out to everyone the whole team that's worked on this and some of the uh, writers as well that have helped out you honestly you guys have done an amazing job so let's do a little bit of housekeeping then so you can follow me on Twitter at Andy Godo Show. You can also follow me on Instagram at The Andy Godo Show. And uh, yeah, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. This podcast is also on a new iTunes feed. What's it? iTunes. It's now Apple Podcast feed. It's a different one from Get to the Chopper. And we've also got another Podbean feed as well. So check it out if you can search for it. And hopefully, at some point, we will be on Spotify and all the other sort of like places where you can actually download your podcasts from. So thank you so much. Don't forget to check out Get to the Chopper, which is the Facebook group, and check out the podcast as well. Goodbye from me.